we'll see if the old Kiaruski starts, boys. Hey, I had to go rescue the wife last night from work, I did. The battery wasn't dead. It seemed like it was flooded, it was. Freaking weird noise. So we'll go out and make sure that thing's running still, and this and that and the other thing. I had to put her to the floor, and she's feel injected to get her to start, for freak's sakes. Gonna go over the thing I said I would go over there with you, about the uh, change in the headlight bulbs and the silver radio. We're gonna go over that while I'm out there, because the sun's out today, and we'll get some vitamin D into us, boys. It's cold, but I don't care. Freak, no, I don't. So I'm just gonna throw on my shoe skis here, and uh, then we'll go out for a little walkabout and see what's really going on. Why wouldn't we? That was easy. Freaking right it was. All right, so, we'll grab the keys for both we will. Because we'll need them both we do, okay? I'll try to hold the camera straight as possible and as nice and even as possible, but it's hard, boys. Crunch, crunch, boys. Sport track. Freaking right it is. Oh, man, the sun feels good when you haven't had it in a while, eh? Freaking right it does. Gotta figure out what's going on with the old charger, too. The old panel there is not sending any juice into the old shop Ruski there. We'll have to figure out what's really going on there. So we'll snap you on here for a minute. See if the Kia doesn't start, boys. <laughs> so there we go, that starts decent. So let's open up the old Silverado here. And we'll pop the old Hurderuski. And uh, we'll go over this with you. Why wouldn't I? So, as you can see here, the headlight bulbs barely friggin' fit, boys. See how close they are to this part here? Friggin' right they are. So that's why you gotta remove the headlights. But, to do that, what you need to do is, you gotta take out these little clips, which just pop up and then they pull out. So you take off this whole cover here, boys. And then in the grill, there's one, two, three, four screws in there, boys. And then down here, I got a couple clips that are already broken, but there's some clips that go through the rad saddle that you squeeze. Hey, you squeeze with a pair of pliers and they pop off. So then the grill comes out, it does. So then on the headlight, once you get the grill off on the headlight, there's one, two screws on the headlight, and then there's one, boys, right in there. But you don't have to take it all the way out, you just loosen it off, it's a slider. So once you get that loosened off, those out, I'm just gonna pull the headlight out and push down on the bumper a little bit and she pops right out. So that's how you remove the headlights on the Silverado. Freaking right, boys. Put a second battery in yesterday, I did. Why wouldn't I, right? Got to get a little bit better strap than that, but hey, it works. So we got a fuse on that battery to come in here, and then the stereo runs off this battery. So now we got two batteries, boys. I don't trust the other batteries in the cold, I don't. Especially when I'm running meters. So there, it's been on all night, and she's at 12 volts, so we're good, eh? We're still good, boys. Freaking right we are. So there we go. I told you in the last video I'd show you how to... I removed the headlights on the Silverado, so I figured I better get my ass out here right in the sun and show you what's really going on, eh? Why the hell wouldn't I? But the battery's almost dead already in this freaking GoPro. What a piece of crap. Freak sakes. I'm gonna go camping, boys. Freaking right, I do. Get out the old Vanaruski. We should get that amp out of Vanaruski there and maybe uh, figure out what's going on with it, too, because it's just cocked right over, it is. Hey, eh? cocked over, boys. Another thing I wanted to tell you too is somebody asked me a while ago about that charger thingamabobber I got from that company, which is uh, whatever the hell they are, boys. I just want to let you know the charger is still working, it is. Hey, eh? freaking right it is. Moved her out to the garage because I'm having a little issue, like I said, with my solar panel to charge a battery. So I got to figure out what's going on there. I should actually plug this in. I haven't used this camera in I don't know how long, boys. She's been a while, she has. Let's get that thing plugged in and we'll charge it up. Maybe we'll uh, take it for a little run there later, eh? Maybe. The charging, boys? Sure is. Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. But clean up the bench a little bit, I did. Just a little bit. Because I've seen the cock things over so friggin' fast, it's not even funny, boys. Eh? Hey? Should take these downstairs. I get looking at this with somebody else. I can't remember who was over here. But uh, she's missing the whole carrier, boys. What's really going on? Look at that. <laughs> Ah, it's friggin' decent. Frig, I still gotta figure out what friggin' car this is, boys. Doesn't look like it's ever been ran. Frig. So we gotta figure out what the hell I gotta need to order for that thing. God darn it. We gotta get that fixed for Buddy. He's gonna be saying, have you fixed my RT yet? I'm gonna say, no. Why would I? We gotta get that thing fixed, but I gotta figure out what the hell it is, boys. 
Some people mentioned some comments on the last video there, and I'm gonna check it out. I just haven't done it yet. Why would I? Why the hell would I, boys? So anyways, like I told you, I'd also tell you what bulbs I put in the old Silverado because I bought them, boys. Freaking right. They're the old Creed LED, they are. And there they are there, boys. So a whole six pack, like I said, these ones were the wrong ones for the old Truckaruski, but I reordered them. But look at the price of them, boys. Dirt cheap, eh? So I'll put the link below for that if you're wondering where I got them lights. Low budget lights, boys. Hey, if you don't want to spend the big bucks on the old LED lights, maybe try them out. Why wouldn't you? I'll let you know how they work and for how long they work. Probably the burnout next week, boys. I still like my uh, lights I got from my suppliers there better, of course, but it is what it is, it is. I have Oxbeam sending me a little switch pack thing in my bobber, but they didn't have those LEDs for me. Well, the store that is sending me a switch pack didn't have them LEDs for me, for frig's sake. So hopefully got some more coming for the Kia because the Kia ones are acting up and I can't remember who they're from, but I'll tell you when I take them out not to buy them, boys, because the one's flickered like a dick it is. Just flick, 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 eh? My old lady says, you know how many times I get flicked when I'm driving my Kia? Because my headlights are screwed up. I was like, no. But I could imagine, eh? So we'll get them changed out with the supplied ones we will. So hopefully they come in soon and we can do that for frig's sakes. And maybe I'll put on that video, on the review video. It's got to hit a thousand boys before I put out my next video, eh? Because the old review videos don't get very many views, they don't. And I, I can understand that. Who wants to watch a review video, really? Not me, eh? But I do watch them but I just skimmed through them, eh? So skim through that son of a bitch and get it up to friggin' thousand views there and uh, I release my next video I do. And then as I get more and more, maybe I'll say 1500 before my next video, boys. What do you think? Hmm? Gotta try to pressure you into watching I do, right? <laughs> I went over my threshold this month, boys, on the old YouTube there. I actually get paid for a month I do, instead of every two months. Make myself a hundred bucks, boys, <laughs> for a month worth of work, eh? How's that? Slave labor on us, YouTube. Friggin' right you are. That's all right, I'll take the slave labor in. Friggin' right I will. Nellie's got her friend over this weekend, and they're gonna go for a little rip -a there, down to the old YMCA and go for a dip in the old pool. So, when they do that, me and us will probably go and do something, we will. Maybe go for a little rip -a in the old silver radio. I gotta figure out, maybe I should hit the old Gatlin up from Carphonics. I need a 12 minute sub for the truck, eh? Hey, Gatlin? Maybe I'll hit you up for one, bud, and get me a good deal on one, eh? I need a 12 back in that thing. I miss my subwoofer, I do. I'm just pounding the hell out of the doors, waiting for them to pop. Full range on the old door Ruskies, boys. 200 watts a piece on a 20 watt speaker. Frick, they work good. Just feed them the juice. Frickin' right I am. But anyways, Gatlin, comment below there and let me know what you got for a subwoofer for me. Why wouldn't you? Maybe we can get you some more subscribers, even though you're killing me on subscribers. I've got 2,700 and you got... 12,000, bud. But I really appreciate you dudes and dudettes watching the old Bills if I do. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and let me know what you think below, boys. Girls, peoples? Why wouldn't you? Other than that, this is just a little shorty there because I told you I would show you and I did. And that's the way it works because I try to honor what I say, boys. But it's hard sometimes it is. I forget things and... There's comments I read and I said, yeah, I gotta do that, but I don't do it and I apologize. It's not because I don't wanna do it, it's because I forget. Hey, I'm human, boys. We're all human, we are. So anyways, have a good day and don't do anything I didn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.